then we are going to make the draft of salwar. We need two measurements for that. One is the total length from waistline to bottom and the hip round. This has three components. One is waistband, other one is a side panel and the front panel. Now start drawing the waistband. First draw a perpendicular line. and mark 0. Zero to one is hip round by six, one sixth of hip. So mark the hip round is 36 by six is six inches. And 0 to 2 is equal to 1 fourth of hip plus 1 and a quarter inch. 1 fourth of hip is 9 plus 1 and a quarter is 10 and a quarter. And draw perpendicular line. Zero, 01 is hip round by 6 that is 1 sixth of hip 36 by 6 is equal to 6 inches and 0 2 is 1 fourth of hip plus quarter inch 10 and a quarter inch and mark the same and draw the perpendicular line. This is for waist band or waist belt going to come on the waistline and the center front this is the center front and this is the side seam. The side seam has the fold. And center front need a open so it should be cut on with the seam allowance and the grain line of this should be a horizontal grain line to get enough strength to the waistband. Now we are going to allow the seam allowance and the hem allowance. The seam allowance at bottom is half an inch. And the waistline is hem allowance, allow one and a half an inch for the hem allowance and then the front half an inch. And draw the lines. The first fold is quarter inch or three eighth of an inch and the second fold is the hem width. So this is the hem width and these are the seam allowance. So we need to cut the piece cut two pieces, one is for the front, other one is for the back. So front and back, both the piece is there. So we need to cut two pieces. The center front may have open, we should cut with the seam allowance. The side seam 
can be on fold and the allowance of the hem and the seam allowance at the bottom and seam allowance of the center front should be allowed. The waistband is done. Now we are drawing the side panel for the leg. It is a rectangular piece. Start from 4, 5, 6, 7. The length is total length minus the waist belt or waist band width plus 1 inch. Total length is 41 inches. Waist band width is 6 inch plus 1 inch. Mark the length as 37 inch and the width should be half of hem round. Hem round is 11 inches, half of hem round is 5 and a half minus 1 inch is 4 and a half an inch. The width should be 4 and a half an inch, the length should be 37 inch and, and draw a rectangle. Now we are drawing the side panel for the leg. Leg has the side panel and the center panel. Side panel is a rectangular piece which has the length as total length minus hip belt or a waist belt width that is 6 inch. So total length 41 inch minus 6 inch plus 1 inch is the length. The width should be half hem round, hem round is 11 inch, half hem round is 5 and a half an inch minus 1 we should mark 4 and a half an inch as the width at the top and the bottom and the length should be 37 inch and mark a rectangular form from 4, 5, 6, 7. This is side panel. We already done the rectangle and now we are going to draw the seam allowance. Seam allowance at the top and the side should be half an inch and we should provide the hem allowance at the bottom as one and a half an inch to two inch as per the hem width. And this side panel has a fold at the side and the grain line should be parallel to the fold line. We need to cut two pieces for right side one and left side one. This is the side panel for the salwar, the length as the same as side panel. Draw a perpendicular line, the length has to be total length of salwar minus the waist belt width plus 1 inch. So totally we should mark 37 inches as the side panel. And the width of the panel is 8 to 11 as hip by 2, half of hip. Hip measurement is 36 by 2 is 18 inches. From 8 we should mark 10 and 9. 0, 10 is hip by 6 plus 1 that is 1 sixth of hip plus 1 inch. So 6 plus 1, 7 inch has to be marked for 10 and draw the horizontal lines from 8, 10 and 9. Square down 11 to 12. Then 9 to 13 is 1 inch and join 12 and 13. The draft is done. Now we are going to allow the 
C. malevans. This panel is going to attach along with the side panel. So we should allow C. malevans at the at this line and in leg line and the crotch line and the top and at the bottom as the hem line. Now we are going to allow the seam elements. We finished drawing the seam elements on three side and one side with the hem elements. And this piece we need to cut two pieces for one leg. So for the both the legs we need to cut four pieces and the grain line of this should be parallel to the side line. And we can cut a four by four inches piece to give a gusset at the crotch to get more comfort. This is salwar test fit. The salwar has a belt piece and the leg piece and it has two piece that is the side panel and the center panel. It provides pleats both at the front as well as at the back. Back gives the excess for the bum raise and the crotch is little lower than the actual crotch. So two in, one and a half inches lower than that. Then the pleats are forming like this when the pleat is being arranged towards the center front. When the pleat has been arranged towards the center pack, the pleat will go towards the back. And the length should be 1 inches extra than the ankle level. And this level should be the foot length. So this gives a, a very loose fit for the body.